Ivan the Indestructible. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Hughes said to the crowd from his spot on stage. A heavy red curtain behind him and a table full of common household items beside him. You've read about it in the papers. Now see for yourself the one and only Ivan the Indestructible. From out behind the curtain stepped Ivan, a towering wall of muscle with intricate tattoos adorning his bare chest. Scattered applause came from the crowd as Ivan smiled and waved. Watch and be amazed as Ivan demonstrates his astounding superhuman durability, Hughes said as he stepped aside. Ivan stepped up to the table. He picked up a common light bulb, holding it out for the crowd in one beefy hand. Then, he brought his other hand down hard, smashing the bulb between them. Ivan didn't even flinch. He dropped the glass shards onto the table and showed the crowd his palms. Not a scratch on them. Surprised murmurs came from the crowd as Ivan picked up a hammer. He brought it down on the table several times, the heavy slams demonstrating how real it was. Then, he turned the hammer on himself. The crowd watched, stunned, as Ivan smacked the hammer against his own chest, the meaty thwacks echoing through the auditorium. The strikes left no bruising or discoloration. Then, Ivan slammed the hammer against his own face, to the crowd's shock. Ivan dropped the hammer and smiled, showing off a mouthful pearly white, uncracked teeth. His nose remained straight, not even a trickle of blood to be seen. The crowd was really getting excited now, pointing as they voiced their astonishment. Next, Ivan picked up a six-inch iron railway spike. As with the hammer, he smacked it hard against the table, demonstrating that it was the real deal. Ivan placed his closed fist on the table gripping the spike tight with its edge pointing upwards. Without warning, Ivan slammed his head down onto the table. The crowd gasped. Ivan was all smiles as he rose up, his shiny forehead unmarred. He held the now bent railway spike out for all to see, and the crowd cheered. Fantastic show tonight, Ivan, my boy. Hughes said sometime later after the show, when the autographs had been signed and the last of the crowd had filed out of the building. Thanks, boss, Ivan said, looking no worse for wear after an hour of beating himself up. He glanced at the curtain. Should we check on my co-star? Hughes nodded. I think we should. They made their way backstage. Inside a nondescript storage room, a bloodied man sat, tied to a chair with a gag over his mouth. His body was battered and broken, blood forming a puddle beneath him. Intricate tattoos were barely visible through the bruises and cuts on his chest. Ivan checked the man's pulse and found nothing. Well, he didn't last long, he said. Guess I gotta find a new co-star. Better hurry, Hughes said. We have three more shows this week. <laughs>